All right, so this is uh, a question on uh, linear programming. Okay, so we need to, or we have been asked to write the four inequalities that we're able to see right here. So there are four of them. There is this one, this one, this one, and uh, this one. So how do we write this? Let's say it's an exam. How do we answer it? The best would be to start with the easiest. So which one is the easiest here? The ones which are passing at only one axis. So like this one is passing at x at y axis, okay? At point six on y axis. This one at point four on x axis. This one at point negative two on x axis. So uh, we'll start with the one which is passing at six. We know that that's y axis. So we say y is equal to six. So the y here is equal to six. This is a line, okay? Now to show the inequality, we are going to say y is less or equal to six. Okay, so you may be wondering, you may be wondering that what is it that is happening here? Why have I not put the greater part? Because I know most people make mistakes. Here, they said the unshaded, unshaded region. So which one is the unshaded region? It's of course the downwards here if you are able to see the region where r is is over here so the bottom part the less is the one which is not shaded okay we are talking about unshaded so the unshaded is down right here so it's supposed to be less so this is uh, uh one of uh, the solutions number two we go to this one it's cutting the x-axis at 4, at point 4 here. So we will say x right here is equal to 4 because this is x-axis. Now, which side are we supposed to show? Is it the greater or the less? It's actually the less. Is less or equal to 4? Because the part which is shaded right here, if you can see the region, it's from here to here, where the R is. So the part which is not shaded, it's over here. Okay? So it's a less part. If we follow the x-axis going to the right side, it's greater. And that part is not what we want. We want the one which is not shaded going to the left side, which is less. We go to the next one. So we write as three. So for this one, you check, okay? Which one is this? It's this one because it's only cutting the X axis. So we will say X is equal to negative uh, two. It's passing at negative two. So to show the inequality, we will say X is, uh, uh, actually here we need to be very careful. X is greater than negative two. What do I mean by saying greater? This simply means that uh, the negative two is not included. When you see that the line is dotted, like the way it is, it's dotted. Don't put the equal sign, meaning it's not equal. You just put either the greater or the less. So for this one, it's a uh, less. I mean, it's greater. We now go to the one which looks a little bit complicated, this one, because it's cutting the y-axis at this point and the x-axis. So it's cutting both the y-axis and the x-axis, okay? So um, what you can do here is to pick the points, okay? So here, what are the coordinates at this point? This is 0, comma, negative 2. You must be very careful, 0, comma, negative 2. What about here? At this point, it's 2, comma, 0. Okay? How about uh, this point? It can also be picked. This is uh, 
4,2, right here, 4,2, these two here, okay? So, since uh, we've picked those points, we can uh, get them. So, we've got, uh, we'll call this as point A, B, and C. So, we get our point A, which is uh, equal to uh, 0, comma, negative uh, 2. Our point B is equal to 2, comma, 0. Our point C is equal to 4, comma, 2. Okay, so now once we get these points, we, we need to understand or we need to put in our head the three, uh, should I say two formulas that are needed. So the formula for finding the gradient, it's actually this one. We need to find the slope. Okay, this is the formula. The formula for finding uh, equation of a straight line so actually this one right here or this one so these are the two formulas for finding equation of a straight line so you just pick i will show you how these two work i will show them to you so here's since we've got this data we will find the gradient so before finding the gradient you can pick whichever coordinates you'd like to work with so i've picked this one and uh, this one so it's only two sets of coordinates a and b or b and c or c and uh, a so i'm going with the a and the c okay so since i've picked that this one will be my x1 and this will be my y1 this one x2 this one y2 okay so i will now get my y2 which is a zero minus my y this y2 is a zero my y1 is a negative two remember to put it inside the brackets because of this negative sign the next thing now is uh, to get my x2, which is a 2, okay, minus my x1, which is a 0. So now I simplify here, or I solve. I will get a 0 plus 2 over 2 minus 0, okay, because positive and positive will be negative. I mean, will be, I mean, negative and negative will give you positive. So 0 minus 2, it's a 2, over 2 minus 0 is a, simply a 2, right there. So our gradient is the 1. So whether you use these two, they'll give you 1. Use these two, it's 1. These two, you still get the same gradient, okay? So now we're done with the gradient. We know that our gradient is a 2. We now go to our stuff right here. So we have a y, okay, is equal to m x plus c. So now here uh, we can get n of the coordinates, n of the coordinates, either these, 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 whichever one to work with. So let's work with these, okay? So what is our y axis here? It's a negative 2, which is equal to, what is our m? Our m is a 1. We found the gradient to be equal to 1. And what is our x? Is a 0. This x-axis plus c. We are solving for c. So now, work out things. We have a negative 2 is equal to 0 plus c. So negative 2 is equal to c. Because 0 plus c is just c. Is c. Okay. So now, we go back. After finding the c, we we'll plug it back right here. So we will say y is equal to uh, m is 1, the gradient. We just found the 1 here. And then here we'll put back the x minus a 2, of which this is just uh, like this. Because the uh, one, uh, one, one, 1 times x is just uh, the same x. So about x there. Now to show the inequality over here, 
we will say y is greater or equal to uh, x minus uh, 2. So this is uh, the solution. Okay. Now, how did I know that it's greater? So let me move it here. So if able to see nicely here, the region is right here. So from here to here, which part is shaded? It's the, the less part. Or what we want is the greater part. We want the unshaded region. So that's why I've used the greater or equal to. Lastly, let me just show you that uh, this formula will also give you the same uh, equation. I mean, the, yeah, the same, the same equation. And I like using this one because this one is straightforward. Look at how it works. Pick any of the coordinates. So let me just pick this. Or oh, let's pick let's pick this. If you don't mind, let's pick C. We see if it will give us the same answer. So on Y, we'll maintain this Y subscript. We'll put the, the value at C, which is Z, or the Y value at C, which is a 2. The M, we found it to be 1. X will maintain. The one with subscript here will put a 4. So y minus 2 is equal to x minus 4. y is equal to x minus 4 plus 2. Because we are, we are grouping the like terms here. This, it will be positive. Next is just to simplify here. Negative 4 plus 2 is equal to negative uh, uh, 2. So you see, this or these two are the same. So that's how it works. And we finally show our final solution or our inequality to be equal to this. Thank you so much for watching. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're watching this video for the first time, don't forget to comment like and share.